to define it as a lambda fine now we can move successively to uh, now we have to find out a production that can generate this thing as a successively uh, we, we can simply see that here a and b have the equal power so over there that means a b are changing in a equal fashion so what i can do that how i can make a recursive call to do that so i want to generate a also i want to generate b also and i also want to make the recursive call so i i can do this in this fashion fine and what would be the result of this that i can not only obtain lambda as a first string fine if i take the lambda i would obtain it as a first string fine it would be the first string then if i take this is a second rule i would obtain a s b and if i do use rule number one i would obtain a b which is here we obtain this thing fine then if i from this rule from from this rule if i use once again two i would obtain a a s b b fine a a s b that means this s is substituted by second rule once again and once again if i use rule number one i would obtain a a b b which is nothing but a square b square which is nothing but third rule once again if i once again call s here that would be a a a s b b b that means this is substituted by production 2 in the place of s here and if i again call 1 it would be a q it would be a a a b b b which is nothing a q and b fine you can generate for this string so this is a required production fine this is a required production if i change the value of this as a one fine what would be the result for that let us check that so what we have to do here if we simplify if if we simplify this language uh, we would obtain uh, this would be a0 this is b0 plus 1 this would be a1 b1 plus 1 this will be a2 b2 plus 1 a3 b3 plus 1 and so on fine so what would be the simplified way to define this is b this is a b square this is a square b cube this is a cube b4 and so on fine now step number two is to define the production let us choose any start symbol suppose this time i'm choosing a as a start symbol and uh, we have to first generate the very first string so i can simply define it as a b fine now what i have to do look at carefully here what you can see here uh, you can see the here it is that it is a b square that means a b b it means a square b square b this means a q b q b fine and so on fine the next would be a 4 b 4 b so this means that in each successive string we are experiencing that uh, a and b a and b are equal a and b and are equal followed by one extra b fine one extra b is here in each step so this one extra b can be you can be generated through very first production and we can make the recursive call of this as a a a b to generate all the string fine so let us check that how uh, what would be the various possible string obtained through that are we able to obtain these strings or not using the first uh, fundamental production rule i can obtain b as a first string then using second production as the a a b and uh, once again using this thing we i would obtain a b b which is nothing but a b squared so a b squared we have obtained fine now if i once again make a recursive call at a it would be a a b b fine uh, a a b b and this time if i make the first uh, 
call of the first production I have an obtain A A B B B which is nothing but A square B cube. Fine. And in this way I can generate all other strings in the language. Fine. So it is a very easy thing. Fine. So let us take one more exam another other example of the language. And this time I am taking some different language. So this time if I take this language fine so this time we can see just simplify this thing what we can obtain here if we simplify it we can obtain a0 b0 now see uh, m and n can change invariably they are not dependent upon each other fine they are not dependent each other that means sometime uh, the value of over a and b would be the different suppose this is a0 b0 next time it would be a0 b1 a0 b2 a0 b3 and so then we would have a z uh, a1 b0 a2 b0 a3 b0 a4 b0 Fine. In this way, we can observe that various strings could be possible. Fine. A1, B1, A1, B2, A1, B3, and so on. Fine. So the main generalization that we can see that the this string is would be the first string. Fine. And this was nothing but lambda. Fine. We would obtain lambda here. So what we can do here, step number two, is to derive the grammar from there. So the first symbol, uh, sorry, first production that we can have here, that is uh, choose a uh, variable. Suppose this time I'm choosing a variable as a b, or you can take anything, anything. Suppose uh, if I choose t as a uh, start symbol, and this start symbol must generate lambda. Fine. This must generate a lambda. Next thing is that. Next thing is that. What we can see here that. A and B are independent of each other. Fine, they are not depending upon each other. So what we can do, we can simply have two different variables. Fine, here two different variables. And if I look at this thing, I would obtain that that we had already generated the grammar for this thing. Fine. And if we look at A. What would be the grammar of A would be that very first string of A would be lambda. Fine. And then we have to successively generate A. So A would be A, A. Fine. With the help of this two thing, I can obtain lambda A, A square, A cube. Fine. And similarly, if I look at this thing, you can see that this time uh, we can also generate a grammar for this in the similar fashion. B B to generate lambda B B square B Q and so on. Fine and so on. So what we can see that here here if we multiply these two things. If we multiply this thing, what would it result? It would simply result into lambda, lambda, b, b square, b cube, then a, a b, a b square, a b cube, then a square, a square b, a square, b square, and so on which is nothing but what we can obtain from here. So this is a required production that we have. And this, uh, it doesn't matter whether you place A here or B here, as I told you in my previous examples, fine? This is also a very important example, fine? So you can take whether I per substitute the value here, whether I substitute the value here, if I increment it by 1, if I increment it by 1, I think it doesn't matter, uh, it, it would make us 
any much difference you can solve it in a similar fashion fine let us take another example fine let us take another example 